This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of Rock Ridge Resources, Mr. John Weisblatt. John, it's great to have you back on. It's been a bit. How are you today? I'm doing really well, Gerardo. Thanks for, for having us back on your program. Well, let's get right into it. Look, gold is near new all-time highs. It's stubbornly holding finally above that 2000 level. Um, silver's cooperating as well. Copper's still holding at $4 a pound. And I got to say, the last time that you and I chatted publicly, we were talking about the Knife Lake deposit, a copper VMS style um, asset that I really like, right? That's got some near surface copper, cobalt, gold, silver, and, and zinc in it. But you also have a gold project that I really like that historically has provided some very, very good high-grade intercepts. And I know privately the company feels has a lot of exploration upside. You just completed a non-brokered flow-through financing. And of course, it's flow-through, so you're planning to commence the drill program at the Rainy Gold Project. So I thought I'd have you back on to get an update and ask you, why gold? Why now? And then let's get a maybe like a good overview, um, a good corporate update of where everything is asset-wise and the focus moving forward. Absolutely, Gerardo. So as you know, I pay very close attention to the macro. And with rates looking to stabilize, the U.S. dollar has 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 also uh, stabilized and has declined from its its recent highs, which has been a very good uh, catalyst for the gold price. In addition to that, we have seen you know another financial banking crisis here in North America that's even spread across to uh, to, to Europe with Credit Suisse, which is very very um, important for the price action in gold. So. Gold has captured um, a lot of the headlines this year. And so now we believe it is a very opportunistic time because of the macro to refocus our attention on our second um, core asset, which is the Rainy Gold Project. In addition to that, when you look at our company overall, we completed the earn-in at Knife Lake, which is the copper project in Saskatchewan that you suggested and discussed earlier in this conversation. And so now that that is complete, we can start to direct our resources and our efforts to, to Rainy Gold. So what is it about Rainy Gold that we really like? Well, Rainy Gold, um, since, the, you know, since the program um, or the, the property was first discovered many decades ago, there has only been 9,000 meters in total of drilling. The program that we are putting together right now is going to be a minimum of 2,500 meters up to 4,000 meters. If we drill um, the, the full 4,000 meters, we'll be increasing the total expiration at this property by more than 45%. So a lot, of, a lot of real potential here. In addition to that, we have been very successful in the past. Um, we haven't drilled there since 2020, but we have been very successful in the past finding some very high grade intercepts. One of the holes that was, uh, that was uh, put out uh, into the market back in 2020 it featured 28 gram per ton over six meters. So there is high grade. There is a very um, prospective chance of finding more holes like that. We will go back up to the project and we will follow through. The oh. purpose of, sorry, go, go ahead. No, no, no. I think you were going to answer my question. I know once we get going, we're usually pretty good. And I think you were leading right into what I was going to ask. So please, please continue. Yeah, I was going to say that the, the purpose of the upcoming campaign is to really evaluate the strike, the depth, and the expansion potential of the high grade zones of gold mineralization that we discovered back in 2020. So super excited to get back up there. As you mentioned, we just closed uh, a flow through financing and we are fully funded now to go and, and do the work at Rainy later this spring. No, listen, it, I'm, I'm excited for gold to be where it's at. I'm excited for you to go back to Rainy and, and, and go and investigate what it is potentially that is there. Where is the market cap right now, John? We talked a bit off air about how, you know, for a lot of companies, it's been really, really tough to gain traction unless you're drilling and unless you're hitting. And I'm happy to see that the company's positioning shareholders for that. But where is the current market cap? Because we've both seen these cycles in the past and we know how quickly it can change with one drill hole. Yeah. So it's, um, it's, it's a good question because the market cap is, uh, is quite low at, at this point in time. At the current price, the market cap trades between three and three and a half million. 
And what that translates to is, you know, less than um, two pennies per pound in situ of copper in the ground. As you know, we do have a copper resource in Saskatchewan. So you are paying around, you know, a penny to a penny and a half for, for that asset, which would imply you are getting negative enterprise value contribution from the gold asset. So it will not take much success at our program, our upcoming program at Rainey, to really excite the market and to hopefully drive value. So I think that the risk reward from this current market uh, market cap is uh, is excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to having you back on once that drill is turning and obviously looking forward to having you back on once we start seeing results from the program. John, always a pleasure catching up. Anything to add to that? I I don't think so, Gerardo. I think we covered off everything. Thank you so much for your time. And it's, it's always a pleasure to come on your program. Great chatting. Thanks, John. Hey, everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.